Lights, camera, action. In a studio where local filmmakers talk to other filmmakers about the inside world of film. Cut. That's not the script. F*** it. We'll fix it in post. Do you wonder how films are produced and what really goes on behind the scenes? Well, stand by. Filmmakers Kevin Mumphrey, Victoria V.A. Jones, and Carson Hype Ferguson explaining all the details. Right here on F*** It, we will fix it in post podcast. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whenever you're listening, I thank you for doing so. I am once again Kevin Murphy, and this is F*** It. We will fix it in post. I'm here with my colleagues, Carson Hype Ferguson sure. and Victoria V.A. Jones. What's going on? Today we have our second in-studio guest. Anybody want to anybody wanna clap? Why don't you hit one of them little thingamajiggies? Oh, I'm going to do that. We have director and musician Josh Lovett. How are you? Yes, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Oh, oh, look yeah, at that. that. I appreciate uh, that. I thought yeah. I was going to have to clap for myself. No, I'm saying usually he hits the wrong button. <laughs> It'll be like this. <laughs> oh, I kind of like that. You know, I like the horror stuff. So it's I suspense. suspense. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even knew that one was there. <laughs> I like that one. If that could be one of my, yeah. I think they changed it. <laughs> oh, well. They must have, because it, it, it was usually something a lot weirder. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is creepy. I like that. I like that, though. That's like me buying the Megan doll. So. <laughs> then you play that right <laughs> I'll be too busy leaving No <laughs> I'll be out of the room Absolutely not We'll we'll get into that l- To that later But uh, let me ask So Where did your journey In film begin? Well Man That was like Almost going on What two Well I started off Doing music And recording In a studio It's it's called a studio program A doll program Called Magic Studio Deluxe And then I met my partner Royce Massengill Of Royce's Ramp and he was a videographer in uh, Pine Bluff. And what he did was, uh, he was like, while I was editing, he was always doing the uh, film work. And while I was editing, he's like, man, have you ever thought of uh, editing film? That's because he was getting lazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I, he, I was like, he's like, he, yeah, I had to put my boy now. Just... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, he was, uh, he was just, you know, he threw that job at me. He says, "Man, you look like you would be really good at it." You know, oh, is that it? Oh, yeah. It no, sounds like a, it sounds like a resume. You know, you're attentive to detail. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, but no. Nah, anyway, he was good about it. But he taught me everything, like kind of the basics. And he showed me. He said, "See, waves are kind of the same as video clips. You just line them up and you just start chopping, just like you're doing uh, Pro Tools or whatever and Magic." And I was like, "Word." So I just took it and I was like, "Yeah, let me, let's do this." So I think we shot a couple of music videos in, in like, the hood areas in Winchester, Tennessee. <laughs> There's a hood area in Winchester? There's, There's, some, hood hood, There's, some, okay. There's some hood country areas up in there. But it was, it's a good area, though. Um, but he started out, we started doing, like, little uh, funny skits, like, disappearing, like, the jumper effect. Start, started doing things like that. And, um, yeah, it just led to one thing led to another. And then I ended up going to MTSU to kind of finesse everything like learn the structure of film and learn all about just the history of film and everything else like that. Yeah, so it's three MTSU alumni in one, one room. You proud of that? Yeah, I'm true blue. Oh, okay. True blue. Yeah, I'm yeah true I'll blue. be proud of that. True blue. True blue it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with true blue? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 she a hater. I, 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 <laughs> really? I was gonna try to tag them. On <laughs> <laughs> it is one of those things. Co- when college you... was real interesting. Let's just put it that way. Hmm. Have, have you been back there lately? They had the LED something going on with that big old LED wall or whatever. It's or something with the. Uh, it's a three D wall. A three D wall. Or yeah, it like it makes you want to go back and just tear it down because you were like, <laughs> why wasn't I here for this? And at the same time, like this, what y'all spent my money on. <laughs> And I'm not here for it. Oh, oh, yeah. They, uh, wow. my money was made in great use. They got all, like, what, when, when did you graduate? Uh, I graduated in, uh, what, 2016? 20, yeah, okay. 2016. 2011. No, no, I graduated 2014. I'm sorry. December 2016, yeah. And when you graduate, Victor? Say what? When you graduate? Hmm? Oh, we, oh, we just keeping it? <laughs> okay. Oh, she, so, she ain't graduated yet. 
<laughs> I, I told you college was. A, <laughs> what? Was why are we on issue. this? Why are we on this? Anyways, this, this is the way the conversation went. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know how? No, like, I'm feeling bad because I'm thinking 2016 or 2018. Hold on, hold. Don't hold. I did graduate though. <laughs> I did graduate. I, I, just don't hold me to that. I did graduate though. I got the papers and everything. Oh, <laughs> I, I know. I I do that too. Like, wait, what year was that again? Because you just kind of wanted to leave. At that last bit, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 most definitely. That last little semester, like, you just you just run into the finish line. I was like, yeah, but that's how everybody is, is, though. That's how everybody is. Hey, everybody get like that. Like when you get like real, real close, that's when you don't want to do it the most. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> as, true. as far as far as as far as some of the college stuff, like if I had to party in peace and all that, uh, may, maybe it'd be a little bit more bearable. But I got that already, uh, you know, with my just my life. Mm. Oh, no, of course. Oh, yeah, you had a good now, party life, huh? Hell yeah. Hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like man, how you that, said that, though. The only, the only thing I didn't have was like the overseas experience. That's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I, was like, I was like, shoot, man. Like, I, and I told somebody, and I was joking, but I was being serious at the same time. I said, yo, I always want to be like one heartbeat away from an international incident. <laughs> Why? 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 You were in COVID. No, no, I'm, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, but I, 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 I wasn't overseas though. He, you know, like he wants to be in the Titanic. No, no, no. I said an international incident. So like, hey, something happens, and uh, my government has to be like, ah, damn. We well, could have been Brittany Griner. <laughs> nah, nah. Now I ain't, look at, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't was, doing none of that. I ain't doing none of that. <laughs> you been in Russia? Nah, 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 nah. Like, so there's some places you don't want to be, and uh, most of these places in the world, you don't want to be in their prisons. I mean, if you if you want to be in an international incident, yeah, man, you, you got to tap you know, on prison a little bit. I'm, I'm talking, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, so, I'm talking about something that'd be fun, you know, like it, it could be and, fun though, and, and you know, like it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it would be like it would be more than a slap on the wrist, but it wouldn't be like ten years to life. Mm. <laughs> that, that's they, pretty hard. You yeah. talking like what other, one to three other spots? Uh, and that's pretty hard in other spots to say. It will be some serious, but not that serious. Not not really, because if you go to certain spots and you litter or whatever, they, they, they'll beat you they'll up. They'll cut your they'll, hand off. They, no, I said litter. <laughs> they, they, they'll beat you up. Right, right, they, they won't right, cut right. you. If you steal, they'll cut your hand off. Okay. I, I like this mug, right? Like, damn, man, don't have her in charge. <laughs> damn. Even that laugh has evil <laughs> intent. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. You probably are correct. <laughs> <laughs> you should hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> On that one. I'm changing was, that button. Was, was, I'm changing that button. I was thinking it right as you said it. I am so, changing that button. <laughs> but uh, what type of music, like when you got into music video, what type of music videos were you doing? Um, starting out was hip hop. Just like you were in rapping hip hop back in the day. Um, then it transcended into uh, metal. We did metal. We did country. We did some alternative rock and alternative hip hop. We we ranged like, I mean, it was just a very diverse man. Everybody, we just didn't have no limitations on anything we did. I think the only thing I have it done on the video, hmm, techno. Oh, so that's the next thing, huh? Techno. I probably do like my videos now. With my EP is gonna kind of have techno and disco. So as far as like doing videos, like mm -hmm. as far as like maybe your process, what would be like say the difference in you doing let's say a hip hop video, than maybe a country video, the pacing, yeah. Because if you you know usually hip hop is a four four counts and sometimes country is like three count. It's like weird. Like I when I when I chop, I usually just you know. So chop. by pacing, you mean in your your edits? In my edits or just in general too? Because you can like hip hop is just like. It's fast paced. Now don't don't get me wrong, country nowadays have have become fast paced. But back let's back when I was doing it, it was a little slower. It didn't have all this auto tune. It didn't have this upbeat to it. Mm -hmm. Like it was just like dissolves. Kind of you can get away with dissolves, like really good. Yeah. But now in uh hip hop, do them dissolve no. No, sir. Unless you do like in a certain effect to it, it'll look good. But like usually it's like hard cuts for me, and that's how I think of when it comes to uh the differences. It's like I I'm doing live editing in my brain as I'm going, and I go by the pace of the song. So and that's why I said it's the pacing on okay. how I do things. Now, sorry, I had a brain fart for a second. <laughs> uh, you say you the uh, only one you haven't done is techno. Yes. No, no, no. I was gonna say now. I know, like in Victoria, you can kind of chime in on this as well. Like I know a lot of people who got into film, they started off you, as hip hop, 
You're loud. Or directing. Say what? You're you're loud. I don't, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 he said, dun, dun, I'm allowed. You're allowed to chime in. I thought he said, I'm loud. I'm loud. No, 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 that's what like, I thought, no, too. I thought, I thought you, like, loud. No, 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 like, no, no, no. She, like, she huh? is allowed to chime in. That's yeah. You're, you're, you're giving yes. permission wow. to chime in. I'm not, oh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> no, ask him the question. I love that. Ask him the question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, go again, ahead. Both go of y'all can chime in on it. Yeah, so both why do you of us think chime in. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you think hip hop is uh, a kind of a good way to, um, as far as start off in film or music videos in general? Well, I think not only does it set you up to learn pacing, like at a, it's like a medium pace with it, momentum pace when it comes to editing or just for anything. For me, I'm just talking with me. My foundation with hip hop, I just like. It's my it's like my energy. I'm not like country. Don't get me wrong. I have nothing against country, but that's not my momentum. Like okay. I, when I go to Cracker Barrel, I'm listening to hip hop. <laughs> my head, my thing, I, I just it's 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 slow to me. And but that's nothing. Not not to put anybody in the water, but that's just that's my momentum. It's kind of like whenever I saw an interview with uh, you had Gary Vee and you had Joe Rogan, and they said this is what happens when marijuana meets cocaine. <laughs> See, there's two different paces. Not to say that they're not spilling the same information, but it's different pacing. And that's how I believe, like, to me, hip-hop was a good foundation, not only for marketing, because at the time, hip-hop was growing. Right. So right. then you would actually have a chance because people were in the country scene, but the hip-hop, like I said here, definitely in Tennessee and Nashville around this area, was growing more and more a little bit. Not, not to where it needs to be right now, but to me, it's like you'll be ready, and that momentum in your head of cutting and chopping really helps. But I'm going to say this, when you slow down, like country, you can cut, to me, you can cut film better. Yeah, you can. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's more of just practice because you, you, you don't need sound. Mm -mm. You, you don't need certain things, and you're able to learn how to piece things together. So when you learn how to piece things together, you can also, at the same time, figure out when you start doing the film thing, how to piece things together. So once you have that out the way, mm. then you focus on lighting you focus on the mm -hmm. audio you focus mm -hmm. on the actors you focus on all that other stuff because yeah you can i can piece something together that ain't nothing you right, know right. drop some music do a promo piece it together put some cool music in there <laughs> and that's it right right but it's more it's more in detail when you have to think about all those other things when you're putting together a film yes all those other because to me i wasn't thinking about lighting you know, I was using natural light. Right. So if it was blown out, that it, my fuck, it was just blown out. Or you, well, <laughs> if it's blown out, you know, you put an effect put, on it. it. Yeah, I put that effect out. I, like, I meant for that. I would do like the uh, old school hip hop boom bap, the black, <laughs> the the monochrome, <laughs> throw that on there, and be like, yeah, it was meant to be like that. So you couldn't do that in country. That monochrome, that whole like gritty film, you couldn't yeah. do it yet. Yeah, mm -mm. They'll look at you like, no, you you messed you up. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had to do plenty of recuts because of that. I was like, well, you, this will be the new thing, but they don't. No, you messed up, man. I'm like, <laughs> and they're yeah, like yeah, very traditional. They, well, yeah, don't play that. Very formulaic. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to break some boundaries, but they're like, mm -mm, we just ain't ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> man, go, go ahead and redo it. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, this, you could, could be recutting while you're explaining this to me right now. <laughs> but uh, now, hold on. I've had videos in the past. I've reached out to old clients that I've messed up. I was like, look, and they're doing it now. I said, see, I was in the future. Yeah. <laughs> you was in the past. Like I was because you said you wanted something like nobody's ever seen before. Right. I said, look, uh, we were paying two, 2011 prices. So we were trying to get that 2011 price. <laughs> <laughs> so now you said you started off as a musician. Um mm -hmm. when so when you got to starting like editing the videos, did um did you kind of like what did you take from being a musician and to bringing it into film? Oh man, I'm gonna say it again, pacing. Like, cause to me, that's you're dealing with tempos and you're dealing with things. But when I do music in general, I think of film scores. Like everything I produce in in uh, music, I think is how can I match this to a film? There'd be a lot of breathing room in my tracks. I don't just be going in like da 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 da. da. I, I don't don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong. Sometimes it's good to have tracks like that. Mm -hmm. But this one, I leave breathing ambient noises. So then you could chop my stuff up. For that, see, I always think of a film, and then when I actually go on set and direct, I have my, I'm, I got a score that I put together from different artists, and I put it in, and I let the actors, and I'm playing it in my ear, and it keeps my pacing good. 
So I constantly, that's what I learned from um, music is it's about pacing because people's like, well, a beat, you missed your beat. You know, in film, yeah. they're like, you telling actors you missed your beat. Well, I have a soundtrack going in my head. So then when I take it to my sound guy, my composer, I tell him this is what I use. And he's like, man, you nailed it, like right on a T. Like, <laughs> so all he has to do is take the BPM and match. And usually, I'm, I may say I'm 80% correct on that one so far. So working in film has kind of altered how you even do your music now. Yes, a lot. And I'm like I said, it. I said uh, with film, it just made it just clarified and verified to me that, you know, this is if you're trying to get to that next level. Let's be honest, like Kanye. Let's throw Kanye in there, right? Mm-hmm. You hear his tracks everywhere on every new trailer that's yeah. always coming out. You're like, yeah. that's an old song, but he knows that my uh, beautiful twisted dark fantasy. That was a pretty much a score. It had a. It was a film, and then Beyonce had that film. But everything, but Kanye's was well paced. If you look at it, it had storytelling. It was a musical. But if you if you think of your music like that, I feel in the end, you will prosper even further. Because Kid Cudi came out with uh, Intergalactic on uh, Netflix. It's like this animation. I was yeah, watching. I know you're talking about. Yeah. Yes, it, it was dope. I, and then the soundtrack, I, I got back and I was listening to the soundtrack. I was saying, okay. And it's Kid Cudi. I was like, man, his pace in the movie. So I know he's like right there. He's good. And Kanye, he's part of Kanye's team. And I'm thinking, that's the team that, right. they're, they're successful, man. He's a billionaire. He wasn't. Well, he was a billionaire, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying. But he reached goals by himself because of that mindset of being in a uh, creative yet commercial format. And that's hard to do because some people's like, no, nah, I'm not going to sell out. See, but you, like, you don't have to sell out. They have to buy in. That's true. You I was said- like, yeah, it, like, and you set the standard, which he set the standard because – Think how many people he went through that was like, ah, oh, don't do it like that. Dame Dash was like that with him. Oh, even. God, that's not the, oh. It, yeah, it, like, yeah, Jay-Z yeah. was like that with him. Oh, just just be this. And he's like, no. Yeah. No. Well, no, I think, was, yeah, definitely Jay didn't believe in him because he just wanted to produce her. So I think Dame had to sell them on him. Well, I, Jay, I, I, did, Jay did give him a chance on that on the documentary. That was whenever the spit, because remember, Kanye wasn't getting... Uh, Attention from Kareem Biggs and uh, Dame. They, you saw he left the room when uh, the girlfriend, me and my girlfriend, that was for Jay Z, and he done left the room talking about he's got to go to a basketball game or something. And <laughs> yeah. you know, here, you know, and to me, I was like, y'all, I'm gonna say this. I'm not saying I'm all for everything that Kanye does, but you no, know, y'all talking about the artist. Yeah, yeah, y'all built that monster. They did. Think about it. When I say a person that's always getting told no, yeah. Oh, you're just a rap man. With my producer, you're a producer, man. Man, I'm an artist. Quit calling me that. Like it, it's true. Well, I need my beats now. Like, and he told him. He told him them beats were meant for me, the whole time. That just put food on my plate. But Dame Dash had he had to do a track with Jay Z, if I remember in that documentary. And Jay Z told him how to kind of switch up his style a little rap for that track because Jay Z was on it. And I think that blessing got Dame Dash to realize. And the Jay Z actually opened that door. Like when it comes, and you know, when it comes to rapping and getting notif- uh, recognition as a rapper, not as a producer for PD Crack and all them other yeah. Rockefeller <laughs> people, man. Cause, you know, like, think about it. Kanye almost died trying to do a, a, a track and for PD Crack at the time. Like, he, 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 look, where is he at now? I'm, I'm sorry. I know that's a shot, but no, where is he at now? But uh, it's PD PD now. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he changed it. He changed it. PD PD. Because PD Crack is not as commercialized, and he ain't going to be on Downey's commercial as PD Crack. I thought he was, okay, he is, okay, he wasn't indicting himself, man. You know, hey, the way hey, you, hey, <laughs> statue of limitations, whatever, man, hey, hey, you could probably still take the mugs to jail. Uh, shout, shout out to uh, Gunna Tell. Gunna Tell. Gunna Tell. What? My bad. Too soon? Yeah. Yeah, okay. man. Yeah. All right, well, man. Yeah. You sound like Toy Lane. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, man, Muggs was really on the internet, man. Just, oh, they was they was on the internet, like, I mean, I'm just celebrating. Block I'm blocking that button. They, <laughs> they, they, was, they was really celebrating. I didn't know like, what Like, when, when uh, my man got the guilty verdict. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. damn, man, like, nobody wins in this. Like, why y'all happy? Nobody wins. And but I, it, it, you know. This is my two cents. Go ahead. Go and this on. is the fact of, you know, people didn't believe her. Okay. Okay. Of the fact that 
what happened. Right, right. It, of what happened. Of literally what happened. Literally, like, she getting shot. People didn't believe that this man shot her. And yeah, I'm just like... I, I, like, we, we still don't know if, yeah, if he yeah, actually, he like, conclusively, her, yeah. because the evidence was, like... But I'm saying... I, I, I he, thought, I he thought if anything... He admitted it, though. No, he, he no. Did. He admitted to shooting. He didn't admit to shooting her. Oh, okay. I know. Yeah. I'm like, I, like okay. hey, look, look, look. Okay. look. Dude's an idiot, regardless. Okay. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. Like, regardless. Why are you putting yourself in this situation? Y'all millionaires. Y'all millionaires. Mm. What you doing? Be like, Yo, you going to shoot in the air in a residential neighborhood in L.A. of all places? Come on. Uh, okay. I thought Come he on. shot at the ground. No, like, well, bullet, like, well, I mean, if you listen to the the witness testimony or whatever, they said old girl had the uh, the joint first. That's what I okay. That's what so, I heard. So I'm like, I still don't know. I don't know. I, like, I'm not saying one thing or the other, but I'm saying like, hey, when he do get the 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 point of retrial, it may go the other way because like, it. if anything, I thought they were gonna do a mistrial because mm. you know all the the way everything was right right because right. like without without a shadow of a doubt. And 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 also too because he again he's an idiot <laughs> he he's he's doing all this stuff you are doing too much you punching August Alcina uh, for Will Smith apparently you punched him in the face I'm just thinking I don't have a gunshot yeah, I see you looking at the board he's like looking at the board hard I'm really I'm like, just I'm, I'm like, 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 have a but but you, but you know what like but you know what like. <laughs> He probably punched. <laughs> he punched August like you know, like Will Smith. Well, actually, now nah, I don't know if Will Smith should have punched man, August. Honestly, this is going down a I very would've. dark path. I would have. I would have. <laughs> nah, nah, man. Nah, but but Jada, Jada is really the one that's bad. I there. still would. I still would have. That's that's humiliating. Anyways, Josh. <laughs> that's humiliating. Now. Let's get back to Josh. So Josh. just because you don't pass the gas, <laughs> <laughs> and you want to blame it on me, you know, and, and I might have done it. Don't mean you got to put it out there. Like you could have let the funk go and. <laughs> So tell me about your first music video, huh? How did that go? Mm, how did that go? Okay, the camera, all, the camera. All, all it's edged out of your brain, huh? Yeah. It, it was. was it was it bad? It wasn't bad, but you know when like the final cut on iMac, that's the iMac, <laughs> right? Let's say a lot of those effects were used. <laughs> <laughs> the little Roadrunner and the, the the transitions and the yeah, let's say a lot of those effects were used. So was it rap? Oh yeah, it was rap. Of course it was. So um, called embalming fluid. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> was it was it trap or was it just like that wit? <laughs> no, that embalming fluid. Yeah. Yeah. It was trap, like trap. It, yeah, you can. It was kind of well. It had a Jeezy feel to it. Okay. Oh, okay. It really had that Jeezy. So I don't. That's know. Right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hit the wrong one. <laughs> well, thank you. That was actually. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you encouraged that. I did. Oh, I, yeah. hit the wrong, I hit the wrong one. <laughs> hey, hey, look, look. Shout out to that uh, Thug Motivation. Oh, that was a good album. Yes. That was a classic. Yes. Still in my workout rotation. Is it? Yes. Yeah. No. You know what's in my workout rotation? 50 Cent? No. Mm-mm. Hillary Swank? Megan Thee Stallion. Uh, who? Hillary <laughs> Swank? <laughs> definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> she is definitely not in my rotation. Well, Megan Thee Stallion? Uh, Hot Girl nope. Summer's Glorilla. not in there? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Who's in your set? Three Six? Yeah. Okay. And she sounded like Jesus. Yeah, three, yeah. yeah, three six. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to say three six. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sick of you, Kevin. I'm really- wait till <laughs> wait till wait till, hey. wait till she gets her money right. Yeah, man. That, 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 <laughs> you said three six and hit that button. Sorry. That and was look, not what I thought that was. That, that be. lolly lolly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're going with that. We're going with uh, that. Lolly lolly. Oh, I didn't know that. So let's uh, let's dive into acting okay. and and directing. And uh, so, do you like directing or acting? Probably directing. Directing. More. So, what was your first uh, project? Uh, my first big project. I'm sorry, it's like because usually I direct all the music videos, but that was my first project. But you're yeah, talking yeah. about film. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. First film, like we did one um, called Black Roses. Oh, what was, was a, that about? It, it was a guy with an artist we worked with. His name was Sky. Because he, he usually battle raps with... He's from Nashville, but he battle rap with Bars Major. Wait, wait, hold on. Uh, Sky. Sky, Sky Ferrari? 
S no, this is S K Y Y. Okay, okay, different Sky. Yeah, okay. Sky. Right. And uh, we <laughs> met up with Nino. Uh, a we lot actually of skies saw... going on here in Nashville. Yes, no <laughs> skies. But <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, we met him through a partner named uh, a guy named Nino. Who you know we're cool with. Everything's good. We had he was actually on our uh, Royce's Rant podcast platform called Black okay. Thoughts. Yeah. His name is Nino Black. So Black <laughs> Thoughts, which was dope, I thought. But um. We did hit Sky's music video. He was a very theatrical person. Like, he likes movies. And he's like, man, I want to do something called Black Roses to the song. Yeah. The song is like six minutes. or five. It was like weird, but it was like long. And we said, let's make a storyline out of this. And if you watch it, it actually has a whole storyline of a guy uh, that they marked as dead. Hmm. And he came back. And then, like, Nino was like the villain, like the uh, antagonist and everything. And the way it's set up, it was like a musical. It, he had uh, he had certain music going, and then we had the actual music video. But then it would transcend into, like, the storyline. Yeah. And that's when I was, like, the pacing of music and the pacing of, like, the whole film. It's, it's on the YouTube. If I can just, it, it's, it's deep in the files, though. <laughs> but it's like a 10-minute film. So when you, like, come up with those concepts for something like that, did he already have what he wanted, or did he, like, have... Half like what he wanted, then you had to come in and be like, you know, what I'm saying, well, why don't we do this? This the second option. The second okay, thing. okay. Yeah, it was a half half because like I'm never going to, especially with an artist's song. Yeah, I'm never going to take uh, try to be a hundred percent on it unless right. unless he's like take it away because that scares me. <laughs> I know that, that that scares me because you come with a product, they're like, this is not what I mm. imagined, and I know that feeling. Yeah. I felt that yeah. feeling before, mm. and. Uh, Basically, when I and here's 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 what uh, here's my concept of everything, because if you want to grow the hip hop scene, everybody like you said knows there's too many skies, there's too many all these people, right? Mm-hmm. The key is to get them all to move together, and that's what the video a director can come in. Director can just break everybody, just like the DJ like DJ Khaled breaks a lot of people. Like mm-hmm. you can be the DJ Khaled of the video world breaking a lot of these artists, and that was my concept. It's yeah. like a lot of these artists they know each other, but they're like, man, I don't mess with him. But then you mess with me. So I'm like, right. okay. So I'm right. like, I used to think in my head, I'm like, okay. It never pulled through, but I was like, what if I did a video here with a storyline of this song? If he's giving me 50%. Yeah, yeah. Of I'm going to give, I'm going to do his concept. But I'm going to do your concept too, right? That 50% is still mine, right? <laughs> I'm going to bridge y'all's videos together. Mm. Like a Sin City. I'm going to bridge it together. And then I'll base it around one character. So you might be like, well, can my girl come in there? Like, yeah, sure, I don't care. She can get a stand-in or whatever. But then I will be creating a storyline on the outside and then putting those songs together. That's when I said it was the music helps me cut like that. So when you mesh them all together, you know, because I'll take BPMs, I'll look at certain songs. Sometimes I'm very choosy on what videos I do. I look at the BPMs. So if it's slow, if it's a 90, okay, 90. If it's a 120, cool. 140, cool. 160, it's like a club DJ. He sets the tempo, sets the tone, the pacing of everything. So it's like it builds up. and then, But in between, to keep the momentum going, that's when you use another storyline that you create. You gave me 50%. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that. Don't be like, well, you gave me 50%. And he's like, okay. But when it comes all together, y'all technically worked all together. And when, oh, it com- okay. and when it comes out to the film festival, you entered a market that you've never entered before. Which is, which is smart. Yeah. So you got, you got short form and long form. And it's like a top-down approach in like a big mm. picture, like a right. cinematic universe. Yes. Like for, can, for those you that... You submit it for a music video. Yeah, yeah. You submit it for mm-hmm. a short film. Yeah, like people yeah. people don't look at it like that, but, right. you know, like some of the concepts that, you know, other people have thought of and some of the stuff that I've thought about has been like, you know, just, um, you know, big picture. Be like, mm-hmm. hey, commercial. Mm-hmm. Commercial. Yes. How can I commercialize this? Right. Because, like, that's what I want to do because... Ain't nobody trying to do this for free. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody trying to do this for free. And, you know, like they'd be like, "Oh, well, I I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I don't yep. want to do this." I'm like, "Be broke." It's the be worst right. thing to have right. oh, a right. client come in and and they want this billion dollar look for less money, and I'm just like, one hundred fifty dollars. I'm just like, <laughs> oh, okay, you let me know how that works out because I can't do it. <laughs> See, I had to start start doing that, telling I just can't do that. Like, you know, because at one point I would challenge myself. 
Like I would like you see this room right here. Like I would work in a small room and work with wider lenses, but I would say set design. Let's build this like out of like because I did construction back in the day, like to make extra money before I got into films and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I used to just build stuff and be good with my hands, help with houses, help with stuff like that. And I just said, you know what? We'll start. If I just give me one bedroom. I can make tons of scenes out of it. Yeah. And that's what I was like. Now you can get that if I want to challenge myself. Right. It's like, and that's the thing. If I'm like, you know, it's kind of like that movie. Nope. You, okay. Nope. You, y'all. I'm sure y'all saw that. Movie. I, I haven't okay. seen it yet. I haven't okay. seen I know it. Yet. You're so, talking nope. You ain't I, seen I, it. I, I know you're talking yeah, about that. Yeah. yeah I got like make, so basically, it's like that director in there. Yeah. Remember, she's like, we don't have that type of funding, but you will see something that you've never seen before. <laughs> film something. That, I'm that director. Be like. I get tired of looking at the same stuff, and I want to challenge. Right. Every, and that's the thing. Like, the more you shoot, a lot of people say the more you shoot, the better you get, right? Right. It's But at the same time, if you're shooting wrong, the worse you get. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that is good, you know, because think about it. If we kept, I could keep shooting uh, bullshit films all day, all day, and all day. But in the end, it's like my uh, reel is just bullshit. Right. Nobody, I can't put this in no uh, Academy Award. I can't put this nowhere. You know, like, and, no, and could get the, to the clientele that I need to go to, not the ones that want, uh, you know, big budget films like The Terminator, but you come in with, no, you know, no money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> your, your funds are terminated. <laughs> you know, oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your, oh, your funds man. are terminated. I've had oh, that. Hasta la vista. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> but see, I would take that challenge. Yeah. I, would, I don't know why, but see, um, and I like I said, I used to build things like foam boards and stuff. Because if I had to tell any filmmaker right now, I said, you know what, I would do. I said, get your lighting together, because that's one thing that's never going to change. Right. No matter what, I said, because you're going to always flag. You can go to Walmart and get poster board black flags and flag all these lights. Yes, it's going to look crazy up in here, but it's going to produce the effect. Right. Now, you wouldn't want to do that for no while, like Beyonce or something. <laughs> Those are two different prices. Right. You know, because if I go to Beyonce and be like, yeah, I'll, I'll do your video for $500. She's going to be like, what? I just it, got four point. What she get for that uh, yeah, device? Yeah, $25 million. $25 million. Yeah, she's going to look at $500. That's like <laughs> Usher, you know, like $500. That's an yeah, offering. You know, she, would, she wouldn't allow you to do that anyway, Yeah, though. yeah. Because, like, you know, like, if you present a certain way, or don't like you know live up to uh, certain parts of uh, the the formula, if yeah. you will. Yeah. Then you're not even getting to that point. Yeah. They be like, they contact you, <laughs> and then uh, the the whole like you know leave a message or whatever. You got one of them uh, them two them early two thousand voicemail messages. Oh, where you got color me bad in the background. <laughs> nah, I say right. I say it ain't gonna work out for you. But um to to something you said uh before though. Right. Like, so uh, I've heard, like, people, like, and I've even spoke to the, uh, the video director for Joint Lucas. Mm. He actually comes with a treatment and then makes a song around that. Mm. Right. Now, if there was an artist like that, like uh, like the, was it the Rossi Cappuccino uh, joint? That, yeah. was, that was the first, like, video. I, I heard him before. Right. And I like some of his stuff, but that was the first music video. I was like, oh, that's that dude. Right. The one that did that Panda remix. It was panda, off panda. the crate. Yeah. It was, oh, it was off the chain. Panda, Panda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like that. I got bras in Atlanta. Oh, okay. I got bras in Atlanta. Don't hit one of the buttons. I don't know what button to hit for that. Oh, man. Uh, but, 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 I thought but, he said bras in Atlanta. That's why I was like, what? Bras. What? Brods. Brods. I didn't oh, hear the D. Yeah, I just heard oh, B-R-A. Man. Oh, man. This guy right here, he heard bras. What? Fuji's. <laughs> no, no, but but seri seriously though, ah, uh, uh, boo, 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 boo. <laughs> the birds are chirping, the bees are buzzing. No, but um, <laughs> but but seriously, like if you had like a uh, if you had a, a video person come up to you, or not a video person, but if you had an artist come up to you and was like, "Hey, I want you to do this video for me," mm -hmm. here's the treatment. Like, how would you, how would you, how would how would that present to you if I was an artist on a, or or if you if you're the director? Okay. I've had that happen. Okay. And because he wants to be a director, too, at the same time, I'm like, okay, that's not... I like, because think about it. Nobody wants to be micromanaged. Either. Right. Like, especially yeah. in a creative space. That's horrible. Like, I've worked on sets where it's like, you follow by the paper. And I'm like, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> it doesn't look good, man. I was like looking at it. I said, this... this I'm, I, I see what you're trying to do, but let's just steady cam this. 
Let's just run a stabilizer or gimbal and just run the whole thing. And I guarantee you'll get the flow right. Like when uh, Perfect Show, uh, the house, uh, what the Haunting of Hill House, you have that. A lot of those shots were like little cuts, but it was just like the movement. It's just all yeah. like, and that's what it is. I said it's about pacing. I said the key is like when you look at music videos or you look at anything nowadays, films. Um, a lot of people are scared to sit on a wide shot for a while. You notice people's oh, like, yeah. ooh, 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 ooh. But there's a film that came out um, recently. It's on Shutter now, but it's in the theaters. It's like Safarit. Safarilic or something, but it's basically about kids. It's a grainy film. This is really grainy, and it's about basically it's the uh, kids wake up, the father's not there. They wake up to a house with no windows or no doors or something. The house That's is completely dark. The trailer is crazy. If you watch the trailer, it's like they're like trailers should be made like this. There's no like cinematic look, but so many dark spaces like closet doors and and stuff and voices. Yeah, and then like little toys, action figures, and stuff like would create shadows, silhouettes, and it just plays on your imagination. And But then you forget that it's, man, this thing's grainy. Like, this is that when you turn your ISOs way too high for the camera, <laughs> like, it looks that grainy. It's like, man, y'all ain't, but it became an aesthetic. Yeah. And that's what kids are doing nowadays, even on Instagram, this VH, the VHS effect. Mm -hmm. They like that aesthetic, and I'm like, well, dang, I just bought this 4K camera, man. Y'all, yeah, we and, could, we, it, yeah, right. I could go and, back and to the just, T3 or something like that. Right, and, and they just like, nah, we like it like this. But, I mean, nah. Just to take your, there okay. you go. You said that earlier. You're like, nah, man, you're going to take my footage and then put it online. And, <laughs> and, 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 and say, that's my work. You know, like, I got 4K cameras, bro. Like, you know, because that does hurt your business. But then, does it? Like, okay, if someone... All right, just say someone's gonna shoot your video, right? Right. And you show you, you're like, man, I want my video to look like, uh, like Kid Cudi's or something. Like, yeah, man. yeah. And then you're like, yeah, man, I'm gonna shoot your video. Like, what was the video? Let me see your work. You know, see your reel. <laughs> and that motherfucker was grainy. Oh. Like, but then he won awards though. He won awards, but that motherfucker was grainy. <laughs> Would you take that risk? Nah, cause that's not how to. I want my video. But it won awards, though. It that don't make no difference. <laughs> I don't care. Hey, the emperor uh, has no clothes, though. Because, like, sometimes, uh, like, <laughs> people are on the trends. Mm -hmm. right. So I'm like, I'm like, how much of it is the trends? How much of it is that person's style? Right. You know, like, all that stuff. And then the thing is, you have your own vision. So if I, I went up, if I'm an artist and I went up to somebody and I did that, I looked at their stuff and, I'm just, and they won awards, I'd be like, okay, cool, so... This trend ain't gonna happen forever. So don't you wanna hop on the next trend? Mm -hmm. Well, I got the next trend. So why don't you hop over here and we do it this <laughs> way? And then you can win awards for this too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm the one to give you two awards mm. instead of you just hanging with that one. Cause that trend is not gonna happen forever. Mm. Like this that trend of whatever it it is, it's not gonna be there forever. There's another trend that's gonna come along. And it's either you gonna set the trend or you gonna be a part of the trend. So if I can, am I if I'm Bars. able to set it, then hell yeah, I'm gonna try to set it. Okay, mm -hmm. we've already done this. This has already been established. So let's let's go over here and see if we can do something over here. So okay, let me ask you then. <laughs> oh, no, no, we'll get Blair Witch Project. Now that is a forever. That type of shooting is 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 forever now. Right. That, all the buying video that was. Now, would you have told them they made tons of money? They left. And I think another, this film that I'm talking about, with the grainy, yeah, yeah. $15,000 budget, but made millions. It's the story, though. It is the story, but Blair Witch was the marketing. It was the marketing. Like, when, I, when I watched it, it was not what I expected. Right. It, and that's it, for everybody. Yeah, right. I, but then that second one, they went cinematic, mm -hmm. and it didn't do too well. It, it, it's, it's, it's about the story, yes, but the story for that, it had to be. It had to be filmed that way for that story. Mm -hmm. It had to be filmed that way because it, it's work. It works that way, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, well, it took me a minute to get used to it because uh, I was getting sick. <laughs> I felt like I was That's on an amusement park ride. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my head. I was like, I was like you know, because sometimes it's like, bro, like just, just you gonna die anyway. Keep, <laughs> keep the shot. Okay, look, look. If I'm in the woods and I'm about to die. I'm going to at least give you a good angle. Yeah. So yeah. then you could be like, oh, that's what he looked like. We didn't get to see that, what the witch looked like. I know. We just saw niggas on the wall, like, looking, <laughs> looking, looking at this, at the corner of the wall, looking, 
Like, but, what, but but you know, but on, honestly, the way the reason why the first one worked is because of suspense and the imagination. Right. It's like anytime you show the creature, unless you got a crazy budget, right? It, it's probably not gonna work out. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not gonna work out. Like Jaws, for example. The reason why Jaws worked is because they didn't show that damn shark until the end. Like, but if they they wanted to show the shark a whole bunch more because yeah. they spent so much money on it, but then the editor she was like, "No, because this thing looks like crap. <laughs> it doesn't look real when they got up on it. Right, right. You know, it look it looked like fake, cartoony, campy, and it looked like a trauma film. That's mm. like the movie The Mist." I know people, a lot of people didn't like that movie or said it was Ooh. whatever it was. See, 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 see. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how we felt though, right there. We're like, what the hell? <laughs> but but <laughs> I'm saying in that in that standard of that movie, they didn't show what it was until the end. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So well, you, you, wait, hold on. You talking about like what? You talking about the end where, the, like, you talking about the end where it had the resolution? The resolution. Hold on, are we talking about the mist or the fog? It's called the mist, ain't it? Oh, the fog the, with, the, with the arms, the things grabbing them and stuff. I'm taking the one with the the, 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 the people, the people yeah. in the car at the yeah, end. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, I, I thought that was the fog. Oh, is that the fog? Because they were grabbing them at okay. the supermarket. The, I, I haven't seen the mist I, then. I thought it was the mist. I mean, that movie it, ain't mist, and, the, mist and fog do look the same. I don't know. <laughs> What's I mean, the name of that movie? Of, What's the name of that movie? Don't oh, look at me. You know I ain't watching. Look it up, Kevin. Look it up. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what what movie are we talking about? What movie are we talking about? Because we, 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 might, we, we might be talking it's, about the same movie. You might be the, talking yeah, about something I'm talking different. Because the the in the car, it was the daughter, it was all them. Yeah, yeah. That's movie. So it's not called The Mist? I thought it was a fog. I see something that's called The Mist. Right. I think The Mist is the M. Night Shyamalan joint. The Fog is a 1980s film. They made a remake of that. Yeah. So it's The Mist. It, it's, oh, but yeah. it seems like it's bummed yes. up. I, that, oh, that's the M. Night Shyamalan me. joint, right? Yeah, it's the, the mist, it's called right? The mist. Yes, because that's something he would do. Like if you look at his style, then Jordan Peele's trying. Yeah, yeah, I'm too. <laughs> look at that. I, I, don't, look I, look I look mess that. with Jordan, but, but I, look, I don't look, lie. Devil, Devil wasn't bad. No, Devil, I like De- I like Devil. Devil. Devil wasn't bad. Now, how did you feel about Old? I never seen that one. You should. Six 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 Sense was good. Now I mess with. Uh, I'm I'm gonna throw your brain off after Earth. Was that him? Yeah, that was him. What? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you didn't remember that? that nah. Terrible. So, Will so Smith he, had he, the accent. Well, 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 you know why that was. The, the, the well, like most people didn't like the uh, the fact that they go to a Will Smith movie for Will Smith's personality, mm-hmm. and he didn't have his personality yeah, at the that. forefront. Yeah. And I was like, that's the thing that. That's why people didn't like that film, because they didn't want a a dry Will Smith. <laughs> They wanted seasoning. Well, he was just like, he was kind of like, yeah. He had that little, like, that, that <laughs> accent to him. <laughs> and it was kind of like in concussion. He had the after, like that. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. like, Will. So, so Tell for, the truth. So for you, so for you, <laughs> do you like, uh, like, horror films or do you like, like, mysterious films? Like the, what do you call them? The uh, uh, like, uh, suspense. Psychological films. Suspe- suspense like, films. Like, like World War Z. That ain't no. That's a that's a zombie movie. Yeah, though. but that was psychological. That was more psychological suspense thriller than it was zombie. Well, like that, that, straight up horror. Um, like I said, uh, oh yeah, what was that one with the monster? I, I, I'm trying to think. All of the, the Cloverfields, basically, with the same the, monster. No, it's the recent one with uh the the comedian. He's a director. It's the one where there uh, these monsters come out of nowhere and then um they're on a baseball field and stuff. It's they made a number two, of mm. it, but it basically um. Ah, what is it? Uh, now it's gonna kill my mind. But, uh, <laughs> but anyways, it had the movie. It, it's, I I think horror and uh, James Wan does a great job of doing that, uh, suspense and horror. Because James right. Wan is my favorite. That's my favorite okay. director. Like, started off Death. If you look at his track record, uh, Death Sentence with Kevin Bacon, the action that was really good. Uh, Dead Silence with the puppets, which would lead to Annabelle, mm-hmm. and it would lead to the Conjuring universe. Mm-hmm. And stuff that's all suspenseful. It was based on a true story, but like some things to me, it, there's some scary elements when you see the monsters, yeah. But really, is it more psychological? Because he made a new one called Malignant. Uh, I think that, I heard of that. that the girl, yeah, it's a, it's about this monster that walks backwards, but you learn I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's really good, yeah. But it's not scary, scary, it's more suspenseful. Like, who's this? 
kind of yeah, got yeah. the seven vibe, um, the Bone Collector vibes, kind of mm-hmm. like again, it's detective, noirish. But um, yeah, I'm just with me. Honestly, I try to combine the two because horror is psychological. Yeah, think yeah, about it. it. If, I, if if we were to leave that door open. And the thought of knowing that people are going around shooting and robbing. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, this is interesting. It's interesting you said that because it, right. we've like, had a situation. Because we've had a situation. Okay, so like if we leave that door open, again, you're you're and then just you it'll the never happen again. Yeah. I tell you that. <laughs> this winch is blowing and it could be a good day. I mean, but the thought that it's the trauma that has happened to you. Yeah. So you're just gonna keep Oh, we the, we do it all the time. Yeah, I just, know I do it. We look think about it. Michael Myers. All right. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this, believe it or not. Y'all might hate me for this, but <laughs> Michael Myers is a, is a nigga, man. <laughs> when I say that, when I say that, hold on. When I say that. Don't press do, one of the buttons. <laughs> when I say that, do we not all look through the blinds when we go up the... Yeah, but I... I, I, I no, no, but he I, did that, too. He yeah, did. but I feel, I, feel <laughs> like, I feel like all old people that watch the block do that. I'm like that's hold something. On, that's, but, uh, hold on, bro. But, but hold on. Why? Why people usually? They don't yeah, want, but uh, like you can't. You can't imagine a Karen looking through the blinds. She'll come out the front door. They're like her. Yeah, eventually. Like, you, you, you saw the movie, uh, the series Them, or they came out in front of the. <laughs> you saw that with Lena Waits. They came out and like, hey, let me shake your hand. Like this ain't gonna happen here. But yes, <laughs> but we're in the back. Like, ooh, look at ooh. Now he know better than that. <laughs> see, Michael Myers be sitting there like doing stuff like that. He be just looking at the window like I feel him though. I feel him though. <laughs> nah, like you know, you I know, feel him though. You know, you know who I feel <laughs> more. I, like even though it's like kind of the same character, like Jason. I feel Jason more because no matter what, he ain't running. But he be hating though. But he gonna get he your be hating though. He gonna, he gonna get your tail. But yeah, he, he, he be, I like Jason, but he be hating. <laughs> I, I prefer Michael. Okay, think about it. Michael has never done. Jason has done a kill anytime somebody trying to get some ass. Yeah, yeah, Michael Myers at least lets you do your thing and then you get stabbed through the neck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't want a blade coming through my girl while she's doing cowgirl. Oh, like, yeah. and, and, and you like, and, and, and then you like, you like, damn. Yeah, what? I'm just saying, damn. damn, man, let me get my rocks. Let, let me get off before you kill me, before you off me. Like, you know, let me get off before I get off. Like, yeah, before I get limited. Yeah, like you are right. You are right. I, I, like, never like I never like, thought about it. I didn't this. either. I and never just think about, about it. it. Think about it. Someone, I saw this meme. I said, you know, Michael chased one woman through the whole films. He did kill, but he chased one woman. Jason has chased how many? A lot. That's what it was a meme saying. He's like, see, that's what's the problem is. You should stick with one woman. That's what Michael Myers, they were smoking. He's like, see, you should just stick with one uh, woman. See, <laughs> see but, but now but, you're thinking. Hey, but, 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 but honestly, honestly, though. Right, right. Them uh uh what was the saying on the internet say uh uh bees be tripping bees be tripping <laughs> uh, what women be tripping they no, just be, be tripping be, yeah is bees that what be you tripping yep. I I wasn't gonna say it, it. it wasn't like we can't <laughs> I wasn't gonna say <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't like we no can't like no you know out, I I, you know? I I ain't calling nobody out their name you know I like I I want to I, I mean you you I, have, I, you have I, those people in the world I mean there are certain people that you can call them that. Yeah. In traffic. Okay. Well, those people in traffic. All right. It sounds like a name of a new song, Bitches in Traffic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I go, that'd be a hit right there. Yo, it's <laughs> <laughs> it would, you know. Send that to Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole other story. Well, I'm, I'm put that here. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, there, there's a whole lot of music probably dedicated to, uh, like, you could just play in, in your little road rage incident. Like, uh, mm-hmm. DSR got one. I'm going to do something bad to you. I play a lot of three six in my road rage in- incidents. Mm. Mm-hmm. See, mm. but see, Juicy J was a big horror fan. Mm. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah, because if you listen to all his songs, you know, um, what is it? Um, that Stay Fly song. Yeah. When you reverse it back, and then saying he's our God, he's our King, he's Lucifer. Ah. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, and you know, if you flip it and you can like hear that, and I was I like, like, I was like, I was like, damn. But it's you were jam- you were knocking you like I, hey I, this, this, look I'm a man of God I'm a man of God but hey that song when it kicks on hey bro like listen I, I, let me look. tell you something <laughs> let me tell you something it it, it is you, you got a lot of things in your head you know a lot of a lot of things you got to get rid of in your head like like demons and mm-hmm. stuff like that so you know it it is what it is I ain't never but see ever put a demon out there I ain't be like oh you know what. Let's just uh, make some music about these demons. <laughs> you know, let me let me drink my pain away. 
You know? but hold on, now. If but you, hold on. I mean, for real. If you shoot films, you putting demons out there because you got to have an antagonist. He ain't gonna be good. Yeah, but I, it, gonna, nah, I mean, but it's, it's a way to illuminate the 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 light side. Like I ain't like like I ain't doing a horror. Okay, hold. Okay, let me ask. Okay, so Jeffrey Dahmer, we did a movie. Someone you know put they they did the movie and, and we all watching it. We're like, right. but I we watched it. We weren't glowing. <laughs> I, I didn't watch it. But we, <laughs> <laughs> well, see, because one, it, it's well, ridiculous. Well, I watched it. It's, it's, well, it's, it's, but it's really it. good. Like if you yeah. think, it's not. I'm not trying to praise him, but the just the just they the said sto- it, yeah, just, the story. Yeah. It was through the eyes of the victim, supposedly. That's what it was supposed to be. It wasn't yeah. like you didn't really see like no graphic graphic. You saw right. some things, but no like super graphic like you were right, seeing. Right, right. But um, that villain. It was about Jeffrey Dahmer. That's putting it, whoever thought, you're putting a demon out there. And I mean, he was. People call him a demon people, but y'all made money so much off of him and you made a culture because people were dressing up like him. Yeah. And I remember they were talking about a dude look uh, at Popeyes, he looked like him. <sighs> Someone said, I ain't chicken, we cooking. It was like some, it was, it was some type of white dude. He had the frames and he had the blonde hair. They're like, what Jeffrey Dahmer doing in the kitchen? He said, they ain't chicken, they cooking. But nah, like, <clears throat> no, nah, I get what you're saying though. Like, I get what you're saying. You're not just intentionally going to put like a Damien. Out there, Omen, knowing that he's gonna cause mass destruction, right? To people, but like, and the hidden messages too—that's kind of weird. It is like, it like, is. That, like underlying hidden messages. Like, you're, it's almost like you're trying to be secretive to put it out there. Like, I'm gonna be up front street. So, I get if, you. If, yeah. so if I, if I'm making something or whatever, be like, you know, th- there may be some underlying things, but it ain't gonna be evil. The underlying things that I put mm. in there, the messaging, all right. that stuff. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Nah. So, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, we get that, but we just everybody's not like that. I know. So, like, cause, and like, people kind of like those like Easter eggs in the film or whatever, like oh, like something within a film within the film, I guess. Is, yeah, that's kind of like what Nope was, kind of like a film being made into a film. It was like weird. It was yeah. like Nope, and I was like, I see where you're going, but no. <laughs> I was like, I love, I love my brothers, but I said. <laughs> It's too advanced. Too too advanced for too you right advanced. now. Yeah, too, and then I, the I, monster was like, mm, you were better off being an M Night Shyamalan and not showing it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, you do some signs now. Signs, you like signs, right? That was M Night Shyamalan. Uh, so the yeah. so the knife with the little, it's like, yeah, you weren't getting you like this. Like, was, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So that was like one of your favorites, but but no. So what is your? Do you have a like favorite favorite horror film? Yes. Okay, what is it? My favorite, it's a two. It's between two though. Okay. Okay. Can I do this? Yes. Evil Dead. I like the remake one. Okay. I do like the old with Bruce Campbell. Evil Dead and uh, The Conjuring. They got posters in my room. Okay. Is Evil Dead really horror though? It's more yes. It's, it's like dark comedy, right? Well, no, the new ones. Now. Yeah, it's it's dark comedy, but like the new ones. That's why I said the newer ones. It's like the new one. There's an Evil Dead Rise about to come out. Oh, that looked crazy. <laughs> She crawling on the ceiling. She, it looked crazy. The mother just looked like, like a mother that's had it. Like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? It, it kind of reminds me of, uh, I was watching a show. It was about, uh, on Netflix, it was a series. It had Nia Long in it. She was in okay. Brooklyn. And it was about a rapper. I forgot. It was a female rapper. It was about her. Oh, um, Roxanne. Yeah, Roxanne. Like, yeah. She, had, she had it, and yeah. she was drinking, and yeah. get the fuck out of my head. Like, <laughs> yeah, it got to the point, imagine her. But then a, a spirit kind of possessor, like she cracking eggshells in the skillet and then leaving them. <laughs> I'm like, y'all gonna eat that? And oh, hell yeah, no. yeah, like that type, of, <laughs> like nah. type of, yeah. Nah. I like that's that's me. But those are my two um, favorite: Freddy, uh, Freddy Alvarez and Sam Sam Raimi. They work together. That's and uh, James Wan, of course. Those yeah. are my that's my like all time. Like, right. Since we're on the subject of horror, okay. What would you? What and you all can chime in on this. What what makes a great horror film? Don't go back to pacing. <laughs> Everybody, I know I'll keep repeating, but that's what it because of horror. Think about it. Remember, I was telling you earlier about a wide shot. People are afraid to sit on the wide shot. You can get away with that with horror because uh, you're focusing in. And just think about it. Not a lot of films you can do this. Um, you can sit on a wide shot, right? You hear the music rising. Yeah. And then it starts zooming in. There's a shot in The Exorcist Three. Uh, it's a clip. And it's not like scary, but you just have to watch it. It's like a 30 second. And it, if it gets you, then you'll understand what I'm saying. It's like the scariest jump scare of all time. 
jump but, scare. It's a jump scare, <laughs> but is it really a jump scare? It's because it's exorcist. So right. it's already put in your mind, oh, man, this is messed. Something about to go. This is messed up. <laughs> like, type of deal. Like, but to what makes the elements of a horror film, I think, it's not necessarily jump scares because I, I don't think anybody can just jump around the corner and scare you. Yeah, right. man, that's it. Right. And you, you expect it. But always remember that there's a story to be told. As long as you, and then James Wan said, they said, um, I don't just make scary films and jump scares. There are elements yeah. of the film. Like if you see, if we're in a dark room and then there's moonlight, there's uh, 5,600K bulbs coming through the lights and stuff like that, creating a moonlight effect. And we're, one side's right here and the other side's right here. So you saw Megan. I'm not putting the movie out there, but you saw Megan, right? Yeah. That last scene when she's playing the piano. Yeah, that was. That, okay, see, that was messy because you knew something was going to happen. You heard the creak, you heard something drop, yeah. and then you then you start hearing keys, <laughs> and it threw it threw you off. I'm not putting no more out there about the movie. It's good, but <laughs> you start hearing the keys, and you're like, mm, this environment, something's like off. Like she's yeah. around, is she gonna ah, like do like Chucky or whatever? But it's the pacing because there still was a story. Megan had a story. Megan was trying to be human. Megan was like, I mean, just think about this. How many movies? I robot, right? I robot. Will Smith didn't care for robots because, you know, he lost his family yeah. if it people to robots, right? Right. But in the end, Sonny, the robot, was just as human as anybody else. Right. He was advanced. Megan, yes, she was twisted, but really, was she? She was just protecting her friend. Because that dog, you know, everything. Oh, yeah, she, yeah. She was just protecting what she loved. Right, So right. are you crazy for protecting someone that you love? Like, because they, they, hurt, they hurt that person? So well, that's a story, though. Well, 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 well hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you ever seen Misery? Yeah, West Kathy, but yes. She loved him. She obsessed. She, she still hobbled the hell out of his ass. <laughs> she obsessed. I'm that talking about that, 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 obs- that, that was love. No, no, that, 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 that's obsession. No, in her mind, in, no, no, in, her, in her mind, that was love. That was obsession. The, even that movie with uh, Beyonce or whatever, with uh, the chick was messing with Obsessed? the husband. Yes. Yes, yeah, obsessed. Literally. I, I like, but but in her mind, <laughs> in her mind, that was love. So in her mind, she was Why justified. Why you keep pointing at me? Because <laughs> her. Why you, her. I mean, in her, in her mind, she was justified. In what? her mind. <laughs> you can't handle <laughs> the truth. <laughs> You got to, oh you, oh, you be doing stuff? Oh, oh hell no. Hey, I'm about to say, they know oh, no. about, uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, see they, they, they be trying to set me out, but they don't really know what they doing, okay? Because they don't know the truth. So, at all. That's not what it was. Like, I, I'm, I, I, like, I just happen to just point that just in general direction. Look, my, my hand's like it. this. You, it's you easy keep to doing do this. this. You keep doing this. Kevin, right well, next is, to you. you know, yeah, but hope. I ain't going to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, exactly. that guy right there. Yeah, exactly. that's a that's a different that's a different respect. Fact. I mean, I mean, there there, there was some good point though. There was some deep. I did. I disagree. There was some deep hard. It looked, point. Yeah. it looked very dramatic when he points at you. It has a <laughs> that's the, obsessive. Theatrical no, that's feel. what I meant. That's what I meant when he pointed at me. It was it was deep. Then I'm just like, oh my gosh! And look, when he points at me, I, I, it's just kind of weird. I, I was not trying to uh, to insinuate anything. It's okay. See, look, you see, my hand is right now towards me. Hey, it's really in the middle of y'all. <laughs> so, let me, so let me ask you: <laughs> If his hand was sitting right there and he was talking, would you try to? What would you think? Like, hand me something, or is he just like? What would go through your mind? Because pointing, yeah, that was like. But if he was just like this, wrist. like the whole time is like this. That, but then he was, his fingers could be locking up or something. Like you know, I have that. <laughs> Like if someone was to keep doing that, like I would, I would be like, like what's what's the problem? You okay? See, what's, what? But he just told you his fingers, like he had, like maybe he got a carpal tunnel going on. He just he don't. How you know? You don't. Uh, oh, she, uh, she know me. You don't know me. <laughs> Uh, you might see me in the street, but, but you, you don't, don't know, know me. <laughs> oh, T.I. That. Hey. that was a good album. Though. Yeah, that, that was, was great. Good, that, that was a great, great album, man. Yeah, that yeah. was a great album. So since you're a mu- musician as well, okay. it's kind of a something I like to bring up to you. So um, at least I remember growing up that musicians would they didn't want their music played on like maybe not even anything as far as uh, marketing, let's say a TV show, yes, uh, commercial or something like that. Right. Is that something you would be be okay with, like having your music played in? Uh, I mean, uh, um, just a regular commercial. Absolutely. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Because, see, I'm looking at it like this. It's, that's money 
for a lifetime. You think about it. They're gonna always play. They're gonna play it on TV, and then it's gonna go from VOD to TV to Netflix to, and you see TikTok. They're Roll bringing the back. Chicks. Yeah, they're bringing back old songs that we're like, hold on, what y'all know about these old songs we listen to, that hip hop songs, whatever. Um, like Gangsta Boo, everybody was all the young kids making stuff like trending. You know, you know. Yeah. Credit, credit this to being our age, but uh, I had some little cousins who were like, who is Gangsta Boo? And I'm like, really? I said, y'all know who 3-6 is? They're like, yeah, yeah, but we just thought it was two people. So they grew up they in that era of Crunchy when Black. they, they, huh? No, they forgot Crunchy Black and all that. They didn't forget. They never knew. They they grew up yeah. in that era okay. when it was just two of them. Do Remember they when, they, yeah, when they, they put out that album yeah, and it was only two of them? Yeah. Last yeah. two walk. And when they won the Oscar. But they all were of mainly, them were up there, though. Con- no, it was... Country Black them, was up there. Them two, uh, I believe Project Pat and Country Black. Right. There was no Gangsta Boo. But I'm just saying... Yeah, they, I'm just bad. saying but Country Black the, was up... But like, I'm saying they didn't know who he was either, is what I'm saying. They say, I'm saying they grew up in an era when they came out as the two of them. And now mm. it's what? Because them two don't even really, really rock with each other like that now. Yes, they do. Hmm. Juicy J does his own thing, and Paul kind of does his they, own thing. They still rock with each other, though. Mm, 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 don't mm. don't see them doing much together. They don't have to do anything together all the time. Yeah. They already got their royalty checks. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to tell you there. now, if if I'm getting if we getting royalty checks, I'm not gonna be with y'all Negroes all the time. <laughs> I mean I mean, <laughs> I mean it, it, we it hurt, that, but, it, that we would hurt gonna, me, but I mean, I mean, that, that, that hurts more than the point. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you should, like, do an invisible like, point. Like, we, I mean, uh, that uh, was that's what uh, that, was. That, that, that was. That was like that was like right through the chest. <laughs> I, I mean, like now, yeah, like, like I mean, hey, damn, hey like, if we if we getting all royalty checks and we all all doing our thing, you think make, I'm gonna be like? Let's uh, create more situations where we get more royalty checks. I mean, yeah, but I'm just saying I'm not gonna be like. Oh no, oh. you just went. Oh, bye, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, hey, uh, hey man, just hey. When you want something, you just give them that favor. I mean, but somebody's. I look at it like this: nobody's leaving nobody behind, but somebody's got to make it. Right. <laughs> I'm serious. We all can't be in the barrel and be like, man. You know what I'm saying? She could have made it. Or, you know, Kevin, you made it, bro. Like, why didn't you? And when, well, I didn't want to hurt y'all. I wanted to deal with everybody. And it's like, well, you still can do that. The key is give people opportunities. Mm-hmm. If something comes open, then, heck, if he's in the fashion and you meet uh, Mark, you meet some big Mark Jacobs or somebody that's big, and I don't know, but uh, somebody from Gucci or something that's looking for new designs, well, do that. And, now, if he messes that up, that's on him. You gave him the chance, but a lot of yeah. people was like, Mm-mm, "I'm taking, I'm doing my own fashion line." It's like, dude, you know I do fashion. I, I dress right. you up. It's like, yeah, 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 you know, like, see, see, I, I, I think what that comes down to is like they don't want nobody, they don't want nobody like subconsciously to be ahead of him at any mm-hmm. point in time, even if it's something that's out of their wheelhouse. So, like, Casey boys, you ever been driving down the road and you get close to like passing a car mm-hmm. and that car starts edging over towards you? Mm-hmm. You be like. Yo, what's up with that? I thought my alignment was off. No, it's <laughs> nah. my, 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 my truck be but, doing but, that, though. But, but right? there's people subconsciously, right? They don't want nobody to pass right, them right, up. Right, right, right. So, so like, right. even on the road, people are doing this subconsciously. Mm. And yeah. Yo, that's wild to me. I'm like, I'm like, damn, man, look at this mug. I got my cruise control on, and they mad because I'm about to pass them. That's how... No. That's, I mean, that's how some people are, though, so... That's not how I'm, I right. am. Like, that's, you know, that, like... That, yeah, that's yeah, not that, how that, I, I am, that okay? I mean, I you said basically some said deuces if we get No, royalties. I oh, yeah, said yeah, she, if we yeah, get royalties, I'm not going to always <laughs> be did. around, is what I'm <laughs> telling deuces. you. She basically said, don't even call me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, got, I got a new number, and y'all ain't got it. <laughs> but I'm saying, you, you, you to put it to the point to where you were talking about Juicy J, they still mess with each other, is what I'm telling you. What I've learned is, when she started making money, she I got to find her new number from my... <laughs> From her assistant. Well, you you gotta you gotta be more specific of what you talking about. Like, hey, <laughs> like no, right, I'm right, saying because right, right, right. like, are we talking about like, are we talking about like Andre three thousand and, and Big, Big Boy? Boy? Yeah, yeah. Like, because you know that was Killer Mike was in you, with that crew and look at that he's in politics and stuff, which is yeah, really... yeah. But but I, I'm saying like uh, nobody will say Andre three thousand and Big Boy done broke up. But if you know who Andre three thousand is as an artist, mm. you know uh, he he needs some time. To play his flute in the subway, <laughs> but see, I guess it, man. Now, what's what? What happened? Um, that band Daft Punk. Yeah, they oh, broke yeah. up. 
That, that's the whole thing. It's like, nah, you can't right. have one without the other, bro. Like, it, right, it, right, yeah, right. Then, yeah. See, even you're like, when that broke up, it's like, ooh. Now you can lose people off a band. Yeah, a you know, lead singer could die or something, but you can't break them two together. Like, you can't do that. Some things aren't just. It's not gonna sound right. Well, I mean, because like not, you, you, you come accustomed to just like them together, right? But if if they had a solo thing and they all it all came up as one, then you'd be more apt to that. So like Outkast, if they were doing projects outside of each other, you'd be less receptive to that because you only know Outkast is them together. Right. Now but what, you know, but then they had the what the the double C D or whatever. Speaker the, box and love yeah, below. Speak, speaker box and love below. And that was kinda like solo joints almost. But see, now let me ask you something. I'm gonna throw it off now. Justin Timberlake and NSYNC. Do we even think about the rest of them? No, nah. no, nah, but we didn't, we didn't we didn't think about we them didn't like think that. About anyway. The rest of them, because yeah, yeah, because any any New fly by, any fly Bobby by Brown. night like pop pop thing, it, it's like kind of same thing. The new edition, but Bobby. but then again, Bobby need new edition now more than ever. You think? Right, Bobby, more, tables more have turned. Yeah, more more yeah. than ever. O- only because Bobby be sweating. Yo, <laughs> and he, he looked like he going through it. He man. he he. he it, man, like, his his story. I like this story better than. The new edition one, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because it it, like, it's full of drama. Was that it? I mean, that's part of it. <laughs> I was a like, major part of it. So I, man, look, I, when I watched that, I was like, I would have been Bobby Brown. Man. I, <laughs> I, 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 don't, I wasn't lying. I, I would have been like, look, man, I, Mike, I, I'm sorry, like, guys. Like, I saw it and thought, I'd have, I'd have smacked Bobby Brown. Because he getting on my nerves. Like, a, man, see, they, <laughs> man they, he put them to hell. But think about Bobby Bobby Brown, the life, even from the beginning, when he started out, he was o- overlooked all the time. He was the darkest one, and he was overlooked. I think in the house, he was, like, they all had their own quirks and stuff, but mm-hmm. he didn't have the most uh, supportive parents. Like, he was kind of on his own. He was that, that thug of the group. <laughs> yeah. He was, the yeah. Thug of, he was the thug of the group. That's why I was like, he made the best. Yeah, you, it was expected he was going to get into that. Yeah. yeah, just a lot. I don't did, want to did, throw nobody. Didn't he, did he do that song with ja, ja Rule, like Thug Loving? What? Thug Loving. I think, I think. Was that Bobby Brown? I remember yeah, him being was, on. Was, yeah, I remember yeah, a helipad and like just swooping in angles or whatever. See, that, Bobby could do that. Yeah. And, not, and yeah. I was like, I was like, with Ja Rule though. I mean, at the time, yeah. At the time, Ja Rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but no, 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 no. But th- this is like Vinny Vinny Vici Ja Rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like before 50 Rule Cent Ja Rule. Yeah. Before 50, yeah, he was big at that time, yeah. right? Well, right before 50 Cent, Ja Rule. Right, cause, but he was still big at that time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but I'm saying, like, right before 50 Cent, Ja Rule. What does that mean? Because 50, 50 is still bullying that man. Yeah. Okay, but I'm saying. Still bullying that man. Okay. I t- he, he paid the man DJ to play his stuff before <laughs> his concert. Okay, but. Two weeks ago. The whole point is he did that song with him before 50 Cent, yeah. right? So he was big at the time. Fifty took him down. Yeah, Fifty took him down. Actually, you know what? No, it was after. It was after Wangster. As a matter of fact, it was a little bit after Wangster. Maybe a year after Wangster. No, where, where Jaw still had something, I think. So he was like, he had well, already he, started to dip. Yeah, because the whole murder ain't went down. Yeah, that whole Chris. Uh, yeah, Chris got. Hey, Chris Are you Gotti, saying Bobby Brown is part of the downfall of Jaw Rule? No, no, no. no, no like no. that was happening. <laughs> that, that was happening. Well, no, we're just saying that he could be the one out of the group pull that off. Like it would be like Bobby. None of them. I'm not baby. You know, baby face. None of them. Right. Nah, nah, bro. Like, mm. Yeah, but ba- baby, Brown baby, baby face, us. baby face would ride off gracefully into the sunset. Bobby Brown and Jaw Rule would crash into a sunset. <laughs> I mean, at the time, which which one did the girls prefer? At the time, you know, what I'm saying they wanted them thug. They well, wanted to uh, crash into the well, well, yeah. like, They didn't want to ride at that time. Right. We wanted to crash. Now, now, like, at, at that time, it's probably fifty. And then years later, he came out with that. Uh, be a baby, have a baby by me. Be yeah, a millionaire. have a baby, baby, baby. Yeah, baby, be a millionaire. Have a baby by me, baby. Be a millionaire. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, but see, now he had that. Now fifty. It was funny, you know. He was talking about job being soft, and you know, because he was doing always on time. But Shanti was killing with job. He, he was doing too many of them soft joints. But then, hold on, the fifty twenty one was question. His, hold on, that 50, was the money songs. On, fifty that that massacre album. He had a lot of like what twenty Olivia. He had the uh, he was doing them. No, songs. 20, 21 questions was on the, the, uh, the get album Richard before die, that. Get Richard die, Quentin Yeah, yeah. Um, but, I mean, because everybody everybody has the range. Yeah, but Ja Rule did too many of those, and they were oversaturated. But see, I would say who and, and, and people and people were tired of hearing just his like like stuff because he had three love songs on the radio at one point in time. 
He had the joint with Ashanti. J-Lo? He had the joint with uh, J-Lo. J-Lo. And real. then he had the joint with uh, uh, Christina Milian. So he had to, uh, Hold on. So and, you, and, hold and, on. And you followed up those three with another one. So I'm... A, look, why are you hating on... Because I got three of the baddest girls in the game. Like, man, I'm... Look... That don't even look right no, no, now. Hold no, on. No, that's cool, but you're supposed to be you supposed to be murder. I could be still be that. <laughs> oh my I mean, God. I can still, Mur- hold on, I can murder. Still, so I can't I can't be a murderer <laughs> and make love too. Like yeah, that what you yeah. mean? No, you can, <laughs> but you know what? Hey, you gotta keep it real. You supposed to be for the for the streets. You in the streets, right? So, so as, as we should stop it there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we talking about the streets. <laughs> Because I don't know, I don't know where they came from. Oh, he showed me straight to the hood. So, uh, <laughs> as we absolutely, d- definitely need to wrap this up. Uh, <laughs> what, what do you have coming out in the future? Well, I have my um, EP coming out in March. I'm gonna have two this year coming out. Um, I, Roy Suit, you know, the videographer, the, yes. the guy, my partner, who taught me everything. Like, he's actually a and R and looking at the pace of the album. He's good at that too. So when he's a director too. Kind of in a way. So when, he, but yet he holds the camera. He's he's a phenomenal camera holder. You'll never meet somebody. He's a gimbal. He's got oh. literally. And the backtrack on that question about seeing the monsters, right? That, that if you see a monster, it's just eh, slender man. Okay. That was a big mm-hmm. thing. Like, do you want to see someone that tall with long arms, <laughs> staring at the door in a suit, in a suit <laughs> with no face? Mm. Royce, uh, my boy, he had a slender man. So he make him a good camera and got the long arms, salt. But anyway, yeah. but what I'm saying is, is that like with me, um, he's doing A and R, and he's gonna be co-directed to my film, uh, my videos, because I'm gonna shoot a video for everything, and it's possible because I'm not gonna go too cinematic with it, right? Because it is what it is. The right. songs, I'm there, you know, but it's gonna have a storyline together, and it's called Quantum. Like I said, it's the Quantum, uh, the Quantum Leap Project, and like I said, it's gonna go from different time eras. Like I was telling y'all, you know, it's like five generations of music. Coming on this from the seventies, the eighties, the nineties, or two thousands into now, and like I said, but it's broken up because I've worked with uh, people in uh, Italy, um, people in Cali. One, uh, my uh, I call my brother uh, Marcus Pendleton, who was on the boy band show. Yeah, uh, K Mars, like he's actually on the tracks. He helps me produce some of those too. I'm trying to give the new age sound, like because you know he's still he's still young. So like, okay. so we're all the collaborating on that. And we're going to do, like, a live performance. It's going to be really nice, too. It's going to be, like, one of them theatrical things. But besides that, I got another film that I've been working on, um, too. Just wrap this up. Um, this one's, like, the... Uh, it's off of Resident Evil. So I'm a big Resident Evil fan. I'm a big gamer of Resident Evil and Silent Hill and stuff like that. But it's a story based on this one character that they never really touch bases on. They never create a story for her. It's called Ada. Ada Wong. Okay. So we already had the pilot written out and everything. The location's kind of set and everything. So um, we're, we're working on the actor, finding the main actress, but it's going to be a series. It's already written. And that's a su- that's going to be a success for me. I already know because I'm part of that uh, community, Resident Evil, stuff like that, I, on Facebook and stuff like that. Okay. Um, and then we got one dedicated to the Joker of uh, Todd Phillips. And it would be playing off the concept of, you know, remember Zazie Beats? That's my girl, but Zazie Beats in there of the oh, Joker. And the, okay. Yeah, and the Joker. And you remember when he was thinking, oh, man, he was thinking he was, we, we thought they were dating. And yeah. they were, and then found out they had nothing. <laughs> so we basically played into that concept. And we said, let's create this this alternate universe. DC's already fail, failing. Well, they're mad right now, DC. But create an alternate universe to that. And that's what we're working on right now. It's like, okay, um, if they had a baby and she really was pregnant and then it was a biracial baby mm. and then she was adopted and now she's trying to figure out who she is and why she's having thoughts and not even thoughts and why she's being treated. She's just like her dad that was anxious and like just wants happiness and stuff like that but doesn't really know why she thinks the way she does, has these thoughts and stuff like that, like mental so we're playing on that. So that's being, the script is currently being worked on right now on that one. But yeah, those are the projects I hope to release. The Ada one is I really hope to get get out this year. But my uh, EP, that's going to be uh, two EPs this year. So they're going to have videos and stuff. So, yeah. Cool yeah. deal. That's what's up. You have a lot going on this year. I think, uh, I read my uh, horoscope. And it's like, I did a whole, I believe in that. I like that stuff. But 
um, they said even as a as a Gemini this year. That's what I am. No, I'm a Gemini. Like as a Gemini this this year, um, live uh, minimal. But anything that you are gonna do, the gap, he said, do it, and don't worry about what other people think. Because he said it's gonna be people are gonna be selfish, mm-hmm. and you just need to do it. What may work and doesn't make sense to him, or they might be like, man, you being selfish, you're spending more time doing this. It was like just do it. Right. It's gonna, you got a spiritual pass. Yeah. He said, you got a spiritual pass this whole year. So whatever you don't think is gonna work, it's gonna work. And you're going to be coming out the wrong time. Like, why didn't he promote that right? And then next thing you know, it goes viral. <laughs> and then, no. and I, yeah, and I just have to been, I have to go get with it because I've been working with Coast, and I'm about to do, like, stuff like Coachella. Yeah. Stuff like that now with the hemp brand and stuff that I'm, I'm an ambassador for. I'm a regional sales manager. I'm going to throw that out there for you. I'm a regional sales ma- manager for Coast, and that's Entourage Organics, LLC. We specialize in organic hemp. Products you can check our products in the stores locally and in California as well. But yeah, I am the one in Tennessee that deals with that. But yeah, holla at me if you want any product. Holla. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's it. Cool, I have no, cool. I have no weed smoking sound effects. Yeah, but. don't hit nail one of them buttons. <laughs> you, don't like that, that, you don't like that? Uh-uh. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> well, Josh, thank you for taking time out to speak so to us much. today. Thank you. No yes. problem. Thank yeah, y'all. I am once again Kevin Murphy with my colleagues Karsten Hyde Ferguson ja. and Victoria V.A. Jones. What's going on? And that is a wrap. Yeah.